Right, lesson one on forces and interactions. We're talking about scalar and vector quantities. Basically, we're just going to have to know two definitions and some examples. So a scalar is a quantity, that means a, a, a thing, with magnitude, that is size, so that's a value, only. Okay, so it's magnitude only. A vector, well this is a quantity, again, a thing, something we can measure, with so it's a quantity with magnitude and direction. So it's this and direction bit. Okay, so let's get some examples. Well, speed is a scalar. Okay, so you're traveling 30 miles an hour, 30 meters per second. But velocity is the vector version of speed. So this time you're going at 30 miles an hour, but north up the M6, or 30 meters per second east, or left across the page. Okay, another one, distance. Okay, so five meters, 100 kilometers. Then if you're going orienteering, what's more useful is displacement. So if you're doing your D of E and you need to get to the next checkpoint, you don't need to know just how far you've gone or how far you need to go, but in which direction to get to the next checkpoint. So that's displacement. Okay, some other common scalars would be mass. Okay, because it's just a number. So you've got a mass of 60 kilograms, 50 kilograms. Um, another common one um, is energy. Okay, so you've got a kinetic energy of 150 joules. Uh, another one would be, these are the key ones actually, so these are the four you need to know. Another one I'm just thinking would be temperature, okay, because it's just a number, so 60 degrees, room temperature 20 degrees. Okay, when we're looking at mass then, um, the vector version of this would be weight. Okay, now weight is actually just an example of a force. So all forces are vectors, so you need to know that, so force. But one example of a force is weight. Okay, so um, our weight is directed towards the center of the Earth right now. The other one, so if there's four key scalars you need to know, there are also four key vectors. So velocity, displacement, force, and acceleration. Okay, so that's the basics, um, so we just need to know the definitions and those examples. So you need to know a little bit more about vectors. We can represent vectors as arrows. Okay, so this is a vector, say a force. This is a vector, um, the velocity. This is your vector of your weight, for example. Okay, so what do we know about these? Well, the length of the arrow, this length here, if I did an, another weight and I had another object here, this arrow is shorter, this arrow is longer, therefore this arrow here has a bigger magnitude, so it's a, a bigger force, okay? If I had another velocity over here, so this is a smaller velocity, a bigger velocity. So the length of the arrow equals the magnitude. Okay, so that key point. Now the other one is dead obvious as well. We've got two weights, but these are both going in the same direction. These velocities are going off in different directions. Okay, so the direction of the arrow tells you the direction of the vector quantity. So I'll just write that in here. 
direction of arrow equals direction of quantity. Okay, so nice easy start to forces for GCSE. I'm going to try some vector examples now. So if I do number one, we do five newtons east. Okay, the first thing then, we're going to have to try and remember which direction is which. So you've got, you never eat shredded wheat, okay, or we across the horizontal. Okay, so if we've got five newtons east, well, east just means to the right, so that's that part of it. Remember, a vector has magnitude, okay, and direction. So it's gonna to be to the right, and now we need to work out how we're gonna do five newtons. So we need a scale here. So what we're gonna use, gonna get the ruler out, and this nice little one here. Okay, so five newtons east. So I'll get my ruler on here and go across east, and that'll be my five newtons to the east. Now I have to put in the scale as well. So we've got one newton is one centimeter. Question number two, if we go here, 10 newtons east, just to get the differences here. So this time, obviously we're still going to the right, but instead of my five newtons, we're going across 10 newtons. And again, one centimeter equals one newton. Question three, what about if we had five newtons south? Okay, so south, we're gonna be heading down the page and it's the same length as that one. So we're just gonna draw this on here. So five newtons south. And again, one centimeter equals one newton. Four, let's do over here, we've got some space. Five meters per second east. Everything else we're doing is forces, but it doesn't matter what it is, it's just a vector quantity. So this will be a velocity. Okay, this is velocity because we've got speed in a certain direction. So again, east um, is gonna to be to the right and five. Well, it's exactly the same actually as our previous example. So just trying to fit my ruler in the right place, but we just have five and we'd have there, but this time one centimeter equals one meter per second. So that's all there is to scalar and vector quantities. Lesson one is done. You know how to define a scalar, define a vector, you know examples of scalars, examples of vectors, and you know how to draw scale diagrams of vector quantities like speed, velocity, and force.